are such an asshole. And after a three hour podcast of the great merciful Corona Chan, which I forgot to read the prayer. I apologize. We have the last asshole consulting video request that's been on hold. And now I have my two weeks off. Unless you are willing to pay twice the price. Otherwise, wait until November 1st. Uh, where'd it go? Okay, here we go. Can I hear myself? There we are. All right. Uh, who? <clears throat> Young man writes, Hi, asshole. I'm a 24-year-old guy from Europe studying in the United States. I know you're very skeptical about majoring in music. I'm not skeptical about majoring in music. It's not skeptical. It's oh, it's factually a stupid degree. Go play your instrument. Become really good. I don't think Jimi Hendrix like got a degree in guitar. <clears throat> and as a music major with, with actual career goals, I totally understand why. I've seen people with totally unrealistic expectations of themselves and the field they're in drop out or exchange the major after receiving harsh critique from their teachers or failing a theory. I mean, the teachers who also are not gainfully employed musicians and therefore they had to teach. Just wondering. In a nutshell, my plan is to become a symphonic musician and play studio slash session slash TV slash theater gigs on the side. Orchestral positions tend to be well paid and the routine versatility and sight reading skills needed for the job make it easier to get other work as well. <clears throat> Being a minimalist and orchestral musician's salary in any major opera, ballet, or symphony orchestra in my native country or abroad would be enough for me to pay the bills and leave some for investing, travel, and hobbies. All right, if you're okay being a minimalist, I mean, you're okay with the starving artist motif, all right, that's fine. Military ensembles and large touring organizations such as Cirque du Soleil, if they make it through COVID, are also an option. I will not stay in the United States after I'm done with my bachelor's degree, even though I have traveled the country quite a bit. Musical training I've received has been very good, and I can say I don't regret coming here one bit. Living abroad makes you more independent, gives you valuable perspective on life, and what is it? No, you know what makes you independent, living independent, is living independently, not relying on government loans or your parents. I know that's not part of why you email, just like words have meaning. Independent means you don't need anybody's money. ba ba Homesickness and the epic decline of the United States musical epicenters New York and L.A. are the reason, as well as better job prospects in the classical musical field in Europe and being closer to my home and my family. All right. Well, I'm glad you came here and checked it out. You, know, you, you gave it a shot. My main music, my main instruments are drums and drums and timpanon, timpani percussion, but I also play bass and keyboards. I have very good work ethic, and I'm willing to go through rigorous training on auditions to get where I want to be. So I'm not some lazy pothead or a title wannabe pop star. Enough of me and my plans. Let's go to the matter. This is why you had to pay so much. This is why you had to pay so much. <clears throat> In some of your videos, you have mentioned the dismal state of popular music with artists like Cardi B, Drake, and whatever is on the radio being absolute trash. I wholeheartedly agree. And there's also scientific evidence that the quality of music is declining. Now, this is why I found it interesting because I'm like, music, is it really is the eye of the beholder. Technically, I'm wrong. People find what they find popular because they do. But now he goes through some science, I guess, behind this. A 2020 study by the Spanish National Research Council evaluated around 500,000 songs from 1955 to 2010 using harmonic complexity, timbral diversity and volume, and concluded that timber has been going down since the 1960s and volume has been cranked up, making the music even more monotonous and dull. Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the reasons driving the decline of pop music. Well, see, here's here's the problem. I don't necessarily agree with your premise that pop music has been declining. I mean, that, that's my opinion. Um, I, I'd be more along the lines of the the cleverness or the quality that goes into the lyrics, um, the the behavior by which uh, musicians comport themselves has declined. I just don't like the music. It's it's like cars from 1999 on. They really haven't changed that much. Fashion really hasn't changed that much in 20 years. Uh, the music sounds the same. And if anything, I would say uh, perhaps this is what's driving it is instead of actually having talent and the ability to sing and be a good musician, it's all now uh, digitally harmonized. Uh, you know, uh, what's her name? 
I forget one of the more popular female singers. If she doesn't have her auto tune, she sounds horrible actually in person or, or people lip syncing. Uh, and so the decline, <clears throat> although it is a musical art or art form and it's no one to judge whether it's going increasing in quality or decreasing in quality. In my opinion, it's decreasing in quality, but that may be driven by using technology as a handicap or crutch, or we're just putting, you know, and this has always been kind of with pop music. You don't throw up the best musician. You throw up who the cutest or the craziest and zaniest musician is. Oh, look at what the kids want. Uh, what was it? I was thinking I was listening to Tom Likas. And rock and roll, he claimed. And you can kind of see with the hair bands because it's really no different than, uh, quote, professional wrestling. Uh, it was created. It was created to market to you, to you idiot. And then I, I wonder is the same thing with with grunge, which, as far as I'm concerned, after that, like since Kurt Cocaine has music really changed. Ooh, Drake. I know Drake because I said, who is this annoying fuck on the radio? Like, what? Is <laughs> Sounds like he's that guy with the he had the trichotomy. He's got that voice box. <laughs> and that's every song. Oh yeah, he's really popular. Fuck. What? Uh, hey, look at this. This slut we put on there. <laughs> look at her. Wow, she's down with the kids. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, anyway, uh, I would agree the average ability of your average musician is going down in pop music. But I wouldn't even know if pop music is for music. It's to put you idiot kids, you kids in our days, like to part with your money or oh, this person's really popular. Go to their concert. I, it, it's all it's all synthetic. It's all fabricated. Meanwhile, because I I do pay attention to jazz, I know plenty of great jazz musicians. Right, they're not pop music, but the overall the average, uh. <clears throat> The, the quality of your average musician, I'd say, has gone up because not only do they have the desire to be the best, whatever, jazz, uh, reggae, whoever else, but they use the skills and abilities and techniques. And just watching and knowing Matt Boldoni for, God, five, six years, seven, eight, maybe, him and his studying is his technique. Sure, he uses all the equipment and the electric, and, but he, uh, let's be very clear, the nucleus, the core is his ability and skill. He uses the electronic and the equipment and the, and, the, and the tools to make it sound as good as possible, mainly acoustics and everything. So if you take away pop music, I, I, I don't even know if you could consider pop music real music or real musicians, as opposed to just what Hollywood decided to throw in front of your dumbass faces because you guys are breaded circuses and you'll eat your Big Macs, you'll eat your, your gas station food, and you'll consume this shit thinking it's music. <clears throat> you know, I mean, come on. Does anyone remember the boy bands of the 90s? Huh? You think that was music? That was, hey, look, cute guys, girls, give us your money. Buy the shirt for 50 bucks. Ah, Bobby or whoever, you know. Now, I think Justin Timberlake, an in intellectual, I, right, there's some talent there. I mean, he's a good actor. He's a, he, he could, he's the triple threat if he could dance. I'm not saying these guys couldn't sing, but let's, you know, do you really want to call pop music music? Really? You know, you're, you're working in symphonies. There's real music there. Okay. Um, jazz. I'll, I'll grant you that reggae blues. Um, you know, <sighs> okay. Some country, but most country. No, what is God almighty? The lyrics are horrible in country. Literally, my grandma shot the dog from the pickup truck. I mean, what? <laughs> That's music? I love America and the things and the stuff and who trucks and dang diggly doos. And I love the Jews. I, you can't get, no, that's not music. That's, that's, uh, that's artificial. That's astroturf. So I wouldn't even dare include pop music and country and rap, by the way, pop music. Well, it's, I guess it's all pop, popular music. That's just, hey, flashy object today now, boys and girls. And next year, new flashy object. So um, I kind of I kind of disagree that music as a whole, I don't think has gotten worse because I do attend the occasional concert and more jazz ensemble than anything else. 
Uh, but on, on radio, who even listens really? I, I really don't. Why? Why would you? You know, I, I, I don't. Okay. Uh, so if you dare call pop music music, let's operate from that presence. We'll go here. I would like to hear your thoughts on the reasons driving the decline of pop music, such as people's short attention span, the overall dumbing down of our culture, profit-driven songwriting, production processes by recording companies, instead of allowing the artists even a bit <clears throat> of creativity and taking risks with different types of music. I don't know if those artists who are employed by pop music are real artists or are talented enough. I think you got to view them more as actors and actresses. I don't think they really have the ability to sing. Oh, maybe some of them got pipes on, I'm sure. Um, but I don't I don't think that, you know, is is what's her name? Uh Britney Spears gonna strike out on her own and like actually start singing songs or writing her own music? Or hey, get in the leather outfit and dance and shake your ass again. <laughs> what? All right, so uh Taking risks with different types of music. Even the cheesiest disco music from the 70s and 80s beats the mainstream pop of the radio on nowadays, hands down. Yeah. <clears throat> How do we end up to the point where we are now compared to the music of your youth and beyond? Well, uh, please keep me in Keep up the good work. All right. I'll, I'll, it's just a general all tides raise, uh, tides raise, uh, high tides raise all boats. It's not, it's not anything deep. We are a lower quality human than we were 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. All right. We're soft. Parents don't hold their children up to standards. We no longer pursue excellence. I mean, look, for God's sake, Nike celebrates Colin Kaepernick, a loser. Like, I don't mean like, you know, pot smoking loser, like a guy who just didn't do that well. And they celebrate his loser dumb. Um, you know, all this touchy feely, everyone's a winner and you can't have really truly talented musicians or artists or any <clears throat> talented anyone come out of that where we play to the lowest common denominator. I, and there's, there's a market for slop. I mean, look at fast food, look at, look at mindless TV. You know, the, the lion's share of your people are normies, conformies and inferiors. They don't, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to hear the subtle differences between uh, old time Duke Ellington and 1960s uh, 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 Miles Davis. They, they couldn't care less about that. Play that song and sing me the lyrics about empowering women and tell me what I want to hear. Make me feel good and, and throw the, the person I, I, I associate with the most. Dress her or him up in a funny outfit. Uh, so it's the, the target, the purpose of pop music has changed. It's no longer, it's not supposed to be good. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be junk food, but instead of for the body, it's for the musical mind or the musical soul, the lack thereof. And so, I mean, does anyone really sit around and listen to music? I mean, I remember listening to like the difference between Genesis and, um, Peter Gabriel, you know, you'd sit and listen to that. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. Peter Gabriel's pretty interesting. He's got his own thing. <clears throat> uh, but o overall, I'd say it's just a, a, a decay in the average quality of a human from the past. And when you have a decay in your average quality human, you're going to have not only a decay in the ability and the talent of your music producers, your singers, your musicians, but you're also going to have a decay in the audience. You know, you would, you would have someone with a refined palate like, oh, I'd like to have a, I don't know. I'd like to have a chicken parmesan with with a little bit of uh, what's a cheese? I'm trying to sound fancy. A chicken parmesan with a really pungent cheese on top of it, and then a glass of white wine next to it because it pairs well. Maybe red wine pairs well. I don't know. But let, let's say you're at the, at the at the refined taste. You know how to pair wine with food. You've savored it enough. You've sampled enough food and wine. You know, this wine goes with that kind of thing. Now just give me my Big Mac with my Coke and my fries. And that's because the average person has become dumber. They have lower standards. They don't even think. They don't even think about the idea of like, maybe I should sit and listen. Oh, what is the difference between Dave Brubeck 
and Miles Davis. <laughs> and Artie Shaw versus uh, Duke Ellington, another old time uh, jazz musicians. Uh, no, they, they, they're just my, they don't even get to that point. Play me the dumb song that I like to hear. Play me, oh, the cowboy guy who, does, hang on, I got to look up this idiot. I, just to show you, I want to figure out where this guy came from. Um, oh. No, country singer Lincoln. <laughs> Not not Lincoln, Nebraska, Google. Cass Haley. All right. I think he was on. I'm like, who's this guy? I thought it was Matthew McConaughey. And it was all folksy and down. And oh, man, he was like a good. Yeah, America's Got Talent. Oh, here, there's. I mean, really? <laughs> and I don't know. Maybe Cass is a really good singer. Maybe he is. Self-titled album is a number eight best-selling reggae album in the Billboard charts. June in two thousand nine, announced Haley. Ba 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 boo da boo da boo. Maybe he does have okay. America's Got Talent. All right. Well, there you go. You know, and I, I would say America's Got Talent. Is that the filter you really want? I know it'll be popular. It'll be popular. Because your average idiot watches that show. The mask. Oh, my God. The singing mask. Oh, who's behind it? <gasps> okay, well, you wonder why there ain't, ain't uh, lines out the door for uh, symphony. You wonder why there ain't lines out the door for uh, what's a good jazz? You know, Harry Connick. <sighs> so there you go. Now, then you send me another email, which that now takes more time. Uh No, I don't have to go through this because this has nothing to do with the question. So there you go. There you go. All right. Let's go on into the comments. Do we have any super chats? We had one. Goody boo. David Little's in the house. AS for five bucks. At least country music likes white people and beard compared to everyone else. I don't, I do. I haven't listened to pop. I'm sure there's like, we're oppressed. Rap has always been somewhat derogatory towards the ladies. I know that. Good music is out there if you look for it. Cappy, get good headphones. These are good headphones. I love these headphones. Dude, I had the earbud ones in before. These are like, I spent $15 on these, man. These are big, fancy headphones. They got padding. Don't make me get pampered. I don't want to get pampered. Don't give me some new headphones that are really nice and I'll never be able to go back. Like, I like having kind of like the crap furniture. Like, this chair is uncomfortable. So when I sit in just a normal chair, I'm like, whoa. It's like a lazy boy, but cheaper. <clears throat> Anything else? DJ Aftershock. Little Richard is my second cousin thrice removed. Is he? Are you quoting a movie? You guys want to hear a good uh, band? I don't think they're together anymore. Maybe you score their uh, CD. Look up the Jazztronauts. Uh, they're just a great, my favorite jazz musician, uh, favorite jazz band. Uh, just some great, funny, dumb songs they did. It's really good. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. Unless there's any new ones, the new Asshole Consulting uh, videos will start November 1st. I will be doing podcasts in the meantime. But the Cappy is done. Cappy going to work on other shit. See you kids later. Toodles.